Welcome to the Joomla XC Samurai template tutorial. Today we're going to go over the brand new template here for April 2014. This is Samurai. It's a website based on a sushi restaurant. So let's go ahead and let's load the page and check it out. So as you see here, we've got a nice intro video playing here in the top that's using our YouTube background player. You just simply put in a link to your YouTube video and it will play it right in the background of your website. In this case, we're using it here in the top and we're just showing it in the inset position. It's actually put in the debug position and it just shows in the body of the whole background of the site. And as you see, once the video ends, we just go back to the still frame. And here in the top, we have our logo position. Then we have our menu, and the menu is using the drop down suckerfish style. So let's go ahead and scroll down in the template and get a look at this. So as you see, we've got a nice CSS3 fade in there. And here we've got some sushi on a plate spinning around. That's actually our new video scrubber module and what that does is it's frames of a video exported and it's just playing the frames in order so as you scroll it looks like the video is playing but it's just frames of images and now we're going to get down here into the actual website and here we have our deluxe news pro and this is a featured article here um, sushi and then here you see we have some nice CSS3 slide ins here and this is another article pulled in with the Joomla Ecstasy Deluxe News Pro. Same here with the quality ingredients and same here with the intimate dining. And finally the sake lounge. And as we scroll down we have another <coughs> custom HTML module here with just a title and some custom HTML. As you see we're actually um, using the bacon itsum here so we've got a uh, Kevin Bacon meatball uh, meatloaf and chuck so we're gonna scroll to the bottom now and we're gonna go ahead and we repeat the top image and we have the restaurant information and this is basically our Joomla ecstasy contact wall so this is pulling the information from your Joomla contact component and down here in the footer position we have our disclaimer about the images and the copyright and down here in the legals we have our socializer wall with your social networking so let's go ahead and let's go over these module positions now of course you have your logo here this is menu bar left and then in the inset position we have our custom HTML module just displaying the title the logo and um, some more titles and here in the voted best in the bay this is a custom HTML module in the user one position and then underneath this is our video scrubber module also in the user one position and here in the user 13 we have the deluxe news pro and then in the user 19 another copy of deluxe news pro user 25 Deluxe News Pro, User 31, Deluxe News Pro, User 37, Deluxe News Pro, Bottom 1, Custom HTML Module, and Bottom 7, our Contact Wall. And again, we have the Legals and the Footer. So let's go ahead and dig into the template here, and let's check out um, the Sushi menu. So click on menu, we're going to see the sushi menu. And the way we achieve this sushi menu is each one of these items is simply a Joomla content article. And this is the category fresh sushi menu. So you see we've got the images here, we've got a nice little hover effect on them. And so basically all you need to do is create a new Joomla article and put in your intro text here. So this is the title of the article, the intro text, and the article image and you can have a nice display of your menu. So you really don't need um, K2 or any restaurant menu or anything like that. You can just basically set it up right with Joomla content. If you want to put in your pricing, you can add that in there and everything. So let's go ahead and check out the standard Joomla pages. Let's look at the blog page. 
And for this blog page, we have um, a featured item here. This is the uh, featured article. And then we go to the uh, two column blog layout. Here on the right, we have uh, the contact wall. We have a side menu here. And we have a banner. So let's go ahead and see the new section now. New section is basically the same thing, it's just Joomla content. And we basically have the two column blog. And then you have your more articles. So let's go ahead and check out one of these uh, articles here. So as you see, when we go here to the article page, when the article is full width, with no right or left on it, the image actually goes full width and we have the text inset here so it gives you a really nice look for your full page article so if you go over here to the blog and we'll go ahead and look at one of these pages where we have the write on when we have the write on the image doesn't go full width and it sits here and everything fits nicely here with the content so let's check out our portfolio pages these are our featured pages this is portfolio left where you have a large image here two here and four down here and our portfolio right has the same effect just with the large image on the right and then if we go over to the featured that has the featured image in the center so let's check out the photo gallery the photo gallery is actually just a Joomla content article calling in these images with our image gallery plugin so as you see it gives you a nice little photo gallery here you can click on it and it opens up and you can go ahead and pan right through here so let's go ahead and check out the styles um, we're in style one right now let's go over here to style two so style two we bring in some reds red titles and then down here in the bottom we have a uh, nice red background with a gradient and we can check out style 3 now three uses some yellowish orange colors nice contrast there and style 4 In style 4, we just switch it out for some grays. And the color switching of the template is very simple. Basically, you just go in and set your base color for whatever color you want, and all this text will automatically change to the color that you want. If you don't want gray, if you want it to be green, you just go inside the template manager and change your base color to 1 to green, and you're all set. So we're going to go into the entire administration of the website and the back end here in the next video but before we finish let's go ahead and let's check out the region layout and here's the basic layout of the template you have your user positions and then you have what we call our regions region 1 has inset in it region 2 has left 2 user 1 through 6 and right 2 region 3 holds a component the news flash left and right Four, you've got your user positions in a banner and so on so each of these regions can be moved around and this is really helpful when you're uh, prototyping your website so if basically you just want to check out and see how it's going to look with your content moved to another place you can do that real easily in the template manager we'll give you a quick little show here of this so we're using 10 regions so this is going to be region 1 through 10 and this is our standard layout so we have region 1 here, region 2. Region 3 isn't shown because that has a component, so we hide that in the home page. So we, now we go down here to region 4, region 5, region 6. So let's do some moving around. Let's go ahead, and this one we're actually going to take this region here too and put it before the video. So we'll go ahead and select that one. So as you see, you've got your voted best in the bay here on top and now you reveal your video. So we can go over here and check out um, another one. We're going to start with um, region 10 first. And here you have your 
logo and your information. And we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and no video. So now let's check out another alternative layout here. We're going to have the video and now we're going to go right into the news pros and finish here in the bottom. And then let's check this one. This is a little more of a minimal design. And finally, I'm going to show you a very minimal design. This is just with Region 1 and Region 3. You always have to be calling Region 3 because Region 3 holds the component. So if you actually don't have Region 3 defined in the region area, then when you go to a subpage, you won't actually be able to see anything because the component is in Region 3. So this is just user uh, inset here and Region 1, and you've got your legals and your footer. So if you just want a nice like intro with the video, then that's all you need. And you can go here to your blog page and pull up the blog page fine because this is in Region 3. So it's going to conclude this video. Um, we'll see you in the next video and uh, we'll dig into the back end of the Samurai template.